Hello, welcome to morning prayer. Please do join in with the congregation words. Grace, mercy and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ be with you. And also with you. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let, Let us rejoice and be glad in it. We come in the name of Christ to offer our praise and thanksgiving, to hear and receive God's holy word, to pray for the needs of the world, to seek the forgiveness of our sins, that by the power of the Holy Spirit we may give ourselves to the service of God. Jesus says, repent, for the kingdom of heaven is close at hand. So let us turn away from our sin and turn to Christ, confessing our sins in penitence and faith. Lord, Lord God, God, we, we have, have sinned against you. We, we have done evil, evil in your sight. We are sorry and repent. Have mercy on us according to your love. Wash away our wrongdoing and cleanse us from our sin. Renew a right spirit within us and restore to us the joy of your salvation. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. May the Father of all mercies cleanse you from your sins and restore you in his image to the praise and glory of his name. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed is the Lord, for, for he, he has, has heard the voice of our prayer. Therefore shall our hearts dance for joy, and, and in, in our song we will praise our God. The night has passed and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. We're now going to have our Bible readings. A reading from 1 Corinthians 12, verses 12 to 27. Unity and diversity in the body. Just as a body, though one has many parts, but all its many parts form one body, so it is with Christ. For we were all baptised by one spirit, so as to form one body, whether Jews or Gentiles, slave or free, we are all given the one spirit to drink. Even so, the body is not made up of one part, but of many. Now if the foot should say, because I am not a hand, I do not belong to the body, it would not for that reason stop being part of the body. And if the ear should say, because I am not an eye, I do not belong to the body, it would not for that reason stop being part of the body. But if the whole body were an eye, where would the sense of hearing be? If the whole body were an ear, where would the sense of smell be? But in fact, God has placed the parts of the body, every one of them, just as he wanted them to be. If they were all one, where would the body be? As it is, there are many parts, but one body. The eye cannot say to the hand, I don't need you. And the head cannot say to the feet, I don't need you. On the contrary, those parts of the body that seem to be weaker are indispensable. And the parts that we think are less honourable, we treat with special honour and the parts that are unpresentable are treated with special modesty, while our presentable parts need no special treatment. But God has put the body together, giving greater honour to the parts that lacked it, so that there should be no division in the body, but that its parts should have equal concern for each other. If one part suffers, every part suffers with it, if one part is honoured, every part rejoices with it. Now you are the body of Christ. Each one of you has a part in it. Let's declare together what we believe. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven. He is seated at the right hand of the Father and he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, 
the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Almighty and everlasting God, we thank you that you have brought us safely to the beginning of this day. Keep us from falling into sin or running into danger. Order us in all our doings and guide us to do always what is righteous in your sight. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. So do join in as we pray the Lord's Prayer in whatever version is most familiar to you. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Our final blessing. The Lord bless you and preserve you from all evil and keep you in eternal life. Amen. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God.